blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure ip source guard dynamic arp inspection and dscp snooping so you can remember in the previous video we learned how to configure dscp snooping using this topology so the three the three here normally go hand in hand so we have to combine them so we are just going to use the same topology that we used in the previous video so guys if you know if you've not watched the previous video to learn how to configure dscp snooping kindly go to our channel and go to come to playlists when you come to playlists um click on the this one ccna network project uh, topics recap okay and um make sure you scroll here until number 15 take that and understand how to configure dhcp snooping before you can watch this video here okay because the three ip source guard dynamic arp inspection and dhcp snooping goes hand in hand because dhcp snooping is a prerequisite to configure dai or ipsg right all right guys so thank you so much i'll just open google spreadsheet and let you know that today we are doing number 14 and number 15. so without any further ado i'll open uh i will open uh my ppt so that we can understand what we mean by dynamic arp inspection and ip source guard okay so uh, we see that dynamic arp inspection is a security feature that uh, that rejects invalid and malicious ARP packets. So this feature prevents a class of man in the middle attacks where let's say an unfriendly station intercepts traffic for other stations by positioning the ARP cache of this unsuspecting neighbor, right? The man in the middle attack. So DAIA, DAI, DAI relies on DACP and that's why we configured DCP in the previous video. Okay, it's a prerequisite to configure this. Okay, because DCP snooping listen to DCP messages exchange and builds a database of valid tuples. Okay, all right. So the tuples include um, MAC address, IP address, and VLAN interface. Then we see that uh, the miscreant sends ARP request or response mapping another station IP address to its own MAC address. Very simple. Then we see that when uh, when dynamic ARP inspection is enabled, the switch drops ARP packet if the sender MAC address and send IP address do not match an entry table in the DCP snooping binding database. Very, very important. DCP snooping. Very important in the DAI configuration. Right? However, it can be overcome through static mapping. We can do both dynamic or st static mapping, right? Okay, so the st static mapping are usually when host configure static IP addresses, DCP snooping cannot be run, okay? And other switches in the network do not run dynamic ARP inspection. A static mapping associate an IP address to MAC address on the VLAN. So that's, how, that's all about uh, dynamic ARP inspection. Then let's go to IP source guard. What is IP source guard? IP source guard prevents IP or MAC address and or MAC address spoofing attacks on any untrusted layer to interfaces. Remember when we're doing a dynamic, I mean DCP snooping configuration, we configure ports as trusted or untrusted. So on those untrusted ports, IP source guard will prevent spoofing okay okay so when ip source guard is enabled all traffic is blocked except for dcp only dcp packets are allowed on those uh untrusted ports okay once the host gets an IP address through dcp only dcp assigned host is permitted are you getting that concept we allow only dcp packet but once that host gets um uh, ip address from dcp server it's only that host will be allowed to communicate not any other host Okay, only the author task and IP address from the DCP server. Very simple. All right. So, uh, 
Then finally we see that SourceGuard is not a standalone tool. It relies on DSCP snooping. Very important. That's why I said when you're doing this configuration, you have to make sure that you have this diagram and the configuration in place. And how to get the configuration on the diagram? We have already recorded a video of uh, CCNA Day 15. Just go and watch this video and let's come together and do dynamic ARP inspection plus IP source guards. Okay. All right. So as my culture, I already alerted a few steps to guide us uh, to configure IP, SG, and DAI. Okay. So uh, the first step is always to draw nested topology, decorate and comment. I have done that. The second step, configure DCP snooping on the switch. I've done that. I did that to configure this as this, this interface and this one as trusted ports. But whenever, you, I mean, whenever you configure any interface as trusted ports, all other remaining interfaces, by default, they will become untrusted. But these are trusted, okay? All right, so number four, I mean, number three, enable IPRP inspection on the current, current, current VLAN used. Sorry, current VLAN used, okay? All right, so let's do that very, very fast. How do we do that? We just come to this switch and say enable um, config t and we just say ip rp uh, inspection vlan 1 because we didn't configure any vlan on the switch so by default all switch ports belong to vlan 1 they are only default vlan 1 okay and you hit enter we are done with that one very simple then we go to um number four which says configure trusted port trusted ports for IP RP inspection. So the trusted ports are here. Is this one? FA02. FA02. So if I can just say uh, do show start. FA02 and the FA01, you can see they are DSP, IP DCP snooping trusted ports. Okay. So we just enter that range. Just say uh, interface range FA0 slash 1 to 2. Okay. We've been told here to configure trusted port for IP, IP ARP inspection. So how do we do that? That we just say IP ARP inspection to be trust. Okay, trusted port, and we hit enter. Okay, exit. We're just done with it. So with this few command, we're just done configuring a uh, dynamic ARP inspection. So we can just say do show ip arp inspection uh interface yes so you can see all the interface all of the the two interfaces are trusted ports but all the remaining are untrusted okay all right so let's go ahead number um, number five configure ip verify source for trusted ports so this this one is for IP source guard, but this one was a uh, dynamic AR die, and this one was die. Okay, so we need to configure uh, IP verify source for trusted ports. So our trusted ports were uh, it was this range. Very simple. They just few commands. I could have combined them in the previous class, but I decided to separate it. Okay. So how do we do that? We just say IP uh, verify verify um, sorry uh, source. Uh, okay, guys. So I've encountered a error here. Although this is the correct uh, uh, command to configure IP source guard, I've just realized that Packetessa doesn't support. IP source guard configuration. So I could have done this in DNS3, but due to time, due to the interest of time, I'm not able to do this right now. But I just want to let you know that this is the correct uh, um, command to configure IP source IP source guard. Okay. Although Packetessa doesn't support IP source guard, Packetessa doesn't support a lot of functionality. For example, L uh, MPLS, uh, it doesn't support. Uh, uh, VRF, a lot of things. So uh, it's not our problem, but I've shown you how to configure a IP source guard. So it's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Just these few commands. Okay. And you've done 
uh, implementing this layer 2 security IP source guard, dynamic IRP inspection, and DSCP snooping. Very, very important that, but make sure you always start with DSCP snooping, right? Okay, so thank you so much. I'll go to our Google spreadsheet and mark the two as done. All right, so uh, we go into post security and finally we finish. So we'll go into post security and finally finish. Uh, the switching te technologies with ACL for VTY, right? Right. So uh, eventually we'll get into routing technologies. If that's this is where things will become interesting. So please subscribe to my channel, um, follow my videos, like my videos, and if you feel that uh, I'm doing a tremendous job, kindly give a comment below. Thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next class. Bye.